In this video, we're going to discuss Ostinato, which is a network traffic generator and analyzer. In this topology, I've got an iOS V layer two switch. It's currently not configured and has just booted up. So at the moment, if I use the command show MAC address table, you can see that the switch has learnt no MAC addresses at this point. In this topology, I've also got four Ostionado devices. Ostionado allows us to generate traffic and we can generate all kinds of interesting traffic on our network using Ostionado. The IANA has a list of IP addresses. So we can see which IP addresses are allocated, for instance, to companies such as Level 3, such as HP, Apple, MIT, and other organizations. Scrolling down through the list, however, we come to the multicast address ranges, which are from 2 to 4 up to 239 in the first octet. So IP multicast addresses are in that range at a layer three, but they use MAC addresses in this range. 01005E is the vendor code, and then the host portion is from 00000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 up to 7F, FF, FF. So this is the range of multicast layer two MAC addresses. Here's an old document from Cisco talking about multicasting at layer two. And they talk about how multicasts are in this range. They are class D addresses with the first four bits of the IP address set to 1110 in binary. There are some special multicast addresses such as all systems on the subnet, all routers on the subnet, and various other well-known multicast addresses such as OSPF, RIP, EIGRP, and others. They also discuss how a multicast address such as this equates to a MAC address of this value. The vendor portion is 01005E, and the least significant 23 bits as shown here are used for this portion of the MAC address. Bit nine, counting from the left-hand side, is set to a zero when working out multicast addresses. That can cause some problems because multiple multicast addresses can end up using the same MAC address. But let's look at this practically. So, so what I'll do is open up a console to Ostionado device one. I'll start up Ostionado. On port one, I'm gonna create a new stream called multicast. I'll double click the cog to make changes. What we're gonna do here is send an ethernet two frame. It's IP version four. I'm gonna send ICMP frames. We're gonna set the destination MAC address to 01005E. That's once again the vendor code for multicast. And I'm gonna specify a unique portion of 010101. So the least significant 24 bits is gonna be 010101. Most significant is gonna be the vendor code. I'll set the source MAC address to an arbitrary value such as this. I'm not gonna set a variable fields. I'll send a thousand packets at one packet per second. So this is what our packet looks like. Destination, address, source address. It's ethernet two, referencing IP version four. I wanna change the IP address source I'm going to set to 10.1.1.1. Destination is going to be 239.1.1.1. So in the packet view, source IP address, destination IP address, it's going to be ICMP traffic with some arbitrary payload data. So that looks good. 
I'm going to click OK, click Apply. And what I'm going to do now is select port 1 and click Play to start sending frames. So as you can see here, the frame count is increasing. We've sent about seven frames at the moment. I'll capture traffic on this link. And as you can see here, traffic from host 10.1.1.1 is being sent to 239.1.1.1. Source MAC address, destination MAC address is IP version 4 multicast. So Wireshark has recognized the destination MAC address. Ethernet 2 frame, referencing layer 3. We've got our IP version 4 source and destination IP address and ICMP echo traffic. So what will the switch do with the traffic? So firstly, show MAC address table shows us that the switch has learnt about the host on port gigabit 00. But will the traffic be forwarded out of other ports? So let's capture on gigabit 02. As you can see here, traffic from that source to destination multicast is being forwarded out of gigabit 02 on the switch. What about this port? We can see the multicast traffic being forwarded out. And let's have a look at this port. We can also see the multicast traffic going out of gigabit 01. So a layer 2 switch will forward multicast traffic out of all ports except the port in which it's received. So if you want to learn a bit about multicast traffic, Ostionado allows you to play around with different options and see what happens. So as an example, I could change the multicast address to this at layer 2. Leave the layer 3 as it is. So stop the forwarding of traffic, click apply and start traffic forwarding. So let's have a look at gigabit 02. Scrolling right down, we can see that destination IP address of 239.1.1.1 has now been mapped to the incorrect MAC address, but the switch is still flooding the frames out of all ports. Here's port 03 on the switch. And scrolling down, we can see the layer 2 MAC address associated with this layer 3 IP address. Traffic is being forwarded out of that port as well. Ostionado allows you to create frames that breaks the rules. So you can inject all kinds of interesting traffic types into your network to see what happens. Genus 3 allows you to try many options to see what happens on a network. Hope you enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.